Well, you've been watching Surrender the Secret. This is just one of 10 parts of this program. Coming up next, we're going to take things a little bit closer to home. Stay with us as we talk with Sherry Neuenschwander, and you can find out how Surrender the Secret can become something that can happen in your life right here in this region. Sherry, let's talk about the healing pit stops that take place that people need to be able to work through when they go through this process. Abortion recovery is a vital step in uh, the healing process. The healing after an abortion is a journey. I say it's a lifetime journey. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a day by day journey, but I also say it's a breath by breath journey. And you talked about those divine moments. Um, God when he knows our heart. Mm -hmm. He sees our life from beginning to end. And so when you step into the light of his love, he brings you to that point. And abortion recovery is a safe place, again, once more to give that voice to the pain. And the healing process is the same as any type of grief, but it's, it's uh, specifically um, um, relates to the abortion experience. It's post-abortion trauma. It's the inability to handle the overwhelming grief mm -hmm. that grips the heart and soul. And so when a man or a woman gets to that point and is able to come to abortion recovery and um, go through the, the healing process, you are working through the denial. And denial can be different for, any, for every one of us. Mine was about 15 years. Mm -hmm. So because we handle trauma differently, we handle it completely differently. So, um, you would work through the denial, then you would identify the anger. Anger toward yourself and the uh, other people perhaps that were involved. Oftentimes it might be a, the father of the baby that uh, coerced or forced or you felt pressured to do that. Oftentimes it's, it's parents. Parents don't realize that when they take their child or their young adult um, daughter to the abortion clinic, what they're really asking them to do. They have you know, it's the misconception of really what abortion really is. And of course, we live in a society that makes it okay. But uh, so when you come to abortion recovery, again, you, you, um, you work through the, the denial and then you um, identify the anger. And then um, how to forgive others, mm -hmm. which um, there's internal and external factors and fears that play in that thought process when you're making that decision. And so there's a lot of things going on there, but you, we need to learn to forgive others and then um, to work through the depression and the grief and the guilt and the shame that we've experienced, as well as um, just accepting God's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Because those of us who've experienced the pain of abortion, oftentimes we feel that we have committed the most unpardonable sin, and that's not true. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ says, I come that you might have life. Amen. And so therefore, you know, when we come to an abortion recovery program, it, it's really a hard step to take. It takes a lot of courage. But when we come there, it's a safe place to understand and allow us to forgive ourselves and allow to accept Jesus Christ's forgiveness on the cross, and then letting go. Mm -hmm. um, and letting go is very difficult. And again, it's, it's, it's a journey for each and every one of us. And when someone comes to an abortion re recovery program, um, that's the first courageous step in that healing, but they're at different places of that healing journey. Mm -hmm. They may be um, somewhere in those grief stages that we just talked about, but yet they're coming, and then we tell them to come with expectation that the Lord is going to be there and help them continue through that journey. And then at the end of each um, uh, abortion recovery weekend um, or through a, an abortion recovery program, then they have an opportunity to honor their children um, and bring closure, um, which is a very important step in the abortion recovery um, process. I think you just mentioned something that's so important. Those are their children. Absolutely. They are still their children and they remain there, their children and, and accepting those and realizing that that's probably got to be a, a very important healing point. Absolutely. Because when we're making that choice to have an abortion, it's based out of fear, the false evidence appearing real. And they're in the abortion industry when we come there. And so they play into those fears. And even in my own life, and even in my process, I rationalized it really wasn't a baby. 
And in our society, I know it's a, it's a discussion, when does life really begin? But we as believers in Jesus Christ, we know the truth. I was raised in the church and I did know the truth, but I was caught up in a lot of things that was going on in my life. And so once I got there, yes, I didn't realize that, or I talked myself out of the truth. And so when you go through abortion recovery and you have that opportunity to give honor to your child and realizing, because you know what? Society does not give us an opportunity to grieve. Um, they say it's our right, they say it's our choice, but you know, uh, in our society, they deny that there even is a grief. Mm -hmm. But if you would lose a child or a loved one um, by a car accident or natural causes, we have that outward public expression of that grief, which is very helpful. But when you have an abortion, you know, and you don't have that, that life in front of you to even yeah. grieve and have that opportunity to, um, to grieve. And so when you come to abortion recovery and you have that opportunity to have an actual expression of, of that grief as well as a place, safe place to, to have that memorial service or that uh, special service to honor that child, it truly brings closure. Yeah. It truly does. Um, and it's very important. It's very important. We're talking with Sherry Neuenschwander of Concepts of Truth and the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery. And again, we want to remind you that it's okay to be hurting. It's okay to need to go through the steps of grief. And it's also okay to be very private about it. You know, Sherry, we live in a very public world. Social media and all kinds of things have made it so that emotions are just all over the place. But I think, especially in an area like this, people need to have that permission to be very, very quiet and private. You mentioned um, some of your healing weekends that mm -hmm. take place. Those are, those are confidential events, is that right? Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of abortion recovery uh, programs out there and, the, and like Surrendering the Secret, which we are you know, partnering with as far as the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery. But Concepts of Truth, our main focus is abortion recovery. We also lead in um, abortion recovery weekends ourselves, And so um, it is confidential uh, when they do come. But we also have what we call an intake process. And what that is, it's, it's very simple. Um, I know what it feels like, and it's not easy to take the step, but when someone is ready and they call our helpline or they contact the Ohio office uh, or me personally, and they're ready to take that step, um, we talk with them and it's all confidential. Everything is absolutely confidential. And we take them through an intake process. And what that means is um, we wanna see where they're at in that journey. And we want to make sure if there's anything else that needs to be addressed and if they're ready to take that step. Our, our, whole, our whole motto is do no harm. And we do not want to do any harm. So when somebody's ready to take that step, we, we create the atmosphere for healing. And Jesus Christ is the, is the true healer. But we, there is a, um, we take some time to talk to them, to see where they're at and gently bring them in and see if they're ready to take that step. Mm -hmm. And if they're not, then we help them um, until they are ready, if they're willing to, you know, to talk with us and, and just build that relationship. But yeah, it's not an easy step, but everything that we do is absolutely confidential because it is, it takes a lot of courage. It is hard to step forward and we understand that. So we do everything we can to provide a safe place to no matter where they're at in that step, whether they're first time giving voice by calling our helpline or whether they're uh, interested in taking that step and attend one um, a program such as Surrendering the Secret. Well, thanks again for joining us. You've been watching a portion of my interview with Sherry Neuenschwander. More on that interview next week. Be sure you keep joining us Friday nights at nine o'clock for the 10 part series, Surrender the Secret. And remember, anytime you have questions, if you need help, if you need prayer, call our prayer line.